want to go first? Fuck that! Give me the coin toss, maybe I want to go first. Alright, so we've got the first battle up tonight. It's going to be a topical battle. The theme will be movies and TV. On my left, first of all, I'd like to give a shout out to AussiePopShot.com, VC Clothing. On my left, make some noise for Metaphorgasms. Yeah! To make it look like you had a decent breast size. Shuffling your feet to Tech 9 while screaming West Side. There's Tucker 2010. Shame on a sprung. I'm a menace to society. Let me on the loose. I'll have some gin and juice in the society. And on my right, we've got cryptic and blue. What? Yeah! Hey yo, I twist the mic, you're a toy shopping in the children's aisle This ear's got me flipped aside like the figure nine You're only ever bringing filler rhymes to fill in time So if your missus lives three doors down, then she's crips tonight Alright, so... Sprung dog. Is what call it? Yeah, mate, heads. So heads it is. You want? You want? You want first? Shall we? Yeah, we go first. Right, Let's go first, mate. Let's start, mate. Tell me when. Yep, one sec. Alright, when you're ready, bro. Okay, so I'm the kind of guy who likes to watch films like Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, and True Romance. These are the kind of guys that like to watch films where you watch two blokes dance. <laughs> As in like, step up one, step up two, save the last dance. Basically, faggots. <laughs> what a pair of faggots. You know what movie got me groping my dick? You know it's The Gift, where you see Katie Holmes exposing her tits. Jessica Alba don't exactly got big titties, but she did have me feeling a bit frisky in Sin City. <laughs> <laughs> and the kind of movies these guys watch are fucking dull visions. Yeah, and I know I'm a bad motherfucker. Pulp Fiction! <laughs> yeah. That is some cool shit, is it not? <laughs> Alright, check it. So, uh, at Got Beef 2, you were looking at me all the time, basically stalking on me. I felt like De Niro in that movie Taxi Driver. I was like, you talking to me? So, uh, <laughs> nice. Right, make some noise, everybody! Yo, yo, Sprung, you should go on The Biggest Loser. Not even because you're like a fat cunt, just because you're The Biggest Loser. Yeah. Yo, yo, and you're like a cunt, you look like the elephant man. And you're just an elephant man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take any more of Koi's boring freeze. And this fat prick looks like that pig from Toy Story 3. <laughs> now, on Sprung, his average weekday, he drinks himself half to death. Comes home, sits on the couch, wakes while watching MasterChef. <laughs> Now, Sprung, he hasn't encountered many women in his travels. The closest you get to pussy is shouting cunt in your battles. <laughs> your wife? <laughs> your wife? Pale, your life's hell, and after five ales, you don't rhyme well. And that's why you've lost more battles than there are episodes of Seinfeld. <laughs> hey, better. Yo, Paul Sprung, the dude is whack. Your simplistic bars make you look new to rap. Your sex life reminds me of those loser cats from Superbad. Except they touch more boobs, you fag. So we've got round two of metaphor orgasms. When you're ready. When you're ready. Yeah. All right, so let's just talk about this guy, um, Cryptic. Yeah, he, me he mentioned he mentioned super bad. Yeah, that kind of describes his lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Just turning my phone off. <laughs> I like the movie Titanic, despite the fact it was really long. But I'd rather sit back, hit a bong, and sing along with Cheech and Chong. <laughs> and I might not exactly be able to stomp the rock, but I guarantee you, if B Rabbit pass me the mic, I'll serve Papa Doc on the spot. <laughs> you fucking cock. <laughs>
<laughs> and, he, and he can say what he wants about me saying cunt, but he wishes he was in a porno because he is a cunt <laughs> and he gets fucked by every other fucking cunt and I'm riding cunt with cunt because I like to have some fun. <laughs> what a pair of cunts. <laughs> I knock up Catherine Heigl simply because I feel that she's looking nice. Maybe we'll shoot a porno like I was Wahlberg in that movie Boogie Nights. <laughs> but I think I need a funny film, so I'll watch Johnny Knoxville play a retard in the ringer. But if I want some romance, I'll let Drew Barrymore soothe me in the wedding scene. So, <laughs> yo, I'm gonna take my phone call, my phone out in a battle. No one phone calls a stupid Adelaide faggot. Yeah, okay. That's it. <laughs> yeah, Decoy claims... By the way, the topic is moving. Yeah. Yeah. Decoy claims that he's some rap battle diehard. When all his mates would say, yeah, he's crap, but he tries hard. Now putting yourself against Dirtbag Dan, some would say he had a brave heart. But letting your mate battle 60, now that was a strange part. When I saw Six pull out that letter, it was murder she wrote. Because really, who the fuck has even heard a keynote? <laughs> You felt you had to let him rap, and after that, you deserved it when he stabbed you in the back. Yo, we're breaking you in this battle like you're a chicken neck. Together, you two look like the figure ten. Your girlfriend looks like Mr. Ed, and you enjoy fisting men. <laughs> Everyone knows that you're such a sick fuck. You like to watch Night of the Living Dead while you were giving head. <laughs> I know what women want. They don't reckon you're handsome. I'd kidnap your bitch, but only get a small ransom. Now, my girl, she looks like the chick from the transporter. Yours has a face that makes me want to commit manslaughter. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Hey. Hey, I'm dead. Let, oi, oi. Let me tell you why this guy is a joke, yo. Because have you ever seen that Robin Williams film, um, One Hour Photo? Because <laughs> he takes pictures, obviously. <laughs> right. Now I'll smoke some weed and put my rap to the test. I need some good shit to hit. James Franco calls when I smoke Pineapple Express. I match chicks like Brad Pitt and that's a sick comparison because I always get the girl in the end. Billy, Billy Madison! Madison. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cunt. <laughs> if you ever want to see some men crying, I'll be like, yeah, this is Remember the Faggot, or Remember the Titans, the Titans or yeah, The Life of Brian. Like, when I saw Million Dollar Baby for the first time, I felt heartache. But after watching all the films I mentioned before, Sprongy, I think we gotta kick back, relax, and stick in half, babe. <laughs> Either that or a Tarantino film, because that boy's gory, G, but if it's got to be a film the whole family can watch, I think we got to stick it to a story, story free. free. Yeah, let's get it on. Time. All right, so, we've got last round on Crippick and Blue. Yeah. Owing to his vagrant mandibles, Mel Brooks offered Decoy a role as a stunt double on Blazing Saddles as one of the horses. Um, and then they banned him from the set after day one for raping animals. <laughs> raping faggots. Now, Decoy, as a wee boy, was subjected to such violent anal. But afterwards, his father would say he'd just been touched by an angel. <laughs> <laughs> now watching Leo in Inception gives his faggot an erection, and I'm pretty sure your girl has got a massive yeast infection. <laughs> Seriously, she smells like rancid sushi, and you both have loose mothers. You may be as fat as John Belushi, but you two are not Blue's brothers. Yo, oh! You're the sort of dude who likes to watch the footy and get lots of pussy. You're the sort of dude who likes a box of cookies, chocolate, pudding, and hot dog woofing. <laughs> and we should call your girlfriend's box Octopussy. Because that is a fucking monster pussy. <laughs> That's it, that's time. That's time. Yeah. Uh, we came here to fucking decimate these cunts. It seems like you two underestimated us. Yo, yeah, and, and, you think, and you think this is Fight Club? I'm preparing for my turn. Yeah, right. <laughs> Make some noise, everybody. I, I, I love hot dogs. You give him a box of cookies. So we're going to the judges. Yeah, uh, uh, 360, give that one to Cryptic and Blue. <laughs> In three. <laughs> Times two. Is there anyone else? I vote for Cryptic and Blue. <laughs> um, right, this is Nymphlo. I'm going to give that to... What are those other two dudes' names? Yeah, those dudes. Um, Metaphor Gasms had some good lines, but I, mean, I feel the other two were really consistent with what they were bringing. Uh, yeah, definitely for those other two. Peace. All right, so after going to the judges, we came to a decision, and I went to, on my right, it's Cryptic and Blue. Yeah! yeah. 
Shout out to all the sponsors, Got Beef Battles. Yeah. All right.